Okay, how do you get your Aries back? It's like this. It's pretty, it's rather simple. It's rather simple. With Aries, you got to abandon the baby. Abandon the baby, okay? Aries is used to being shown attention. They're used to being someone's focal point, all right? They're used to being the baby. However they got to get the attention, they'll get it. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you deprive them of that, then it's going to make them feel like they're not the baby no more. Like they haven't done something correctly to earn that stripe that they've always known themselves to have. Okay? So you got to think about it. Y'all are together. Y'all started off together, right? Y'all break apart. If you still cater to the baby, then what have you learned? What is it? It, it, it sends off the signal that you are completely powerless in this situation. All right? You got to leave. You got to leave the baby so that the baby feels the absence of the, the I'm not going to say parental figure, but I'm going to say the authoritative figure. All right. So you got to place yourself in a place of authority. They already used to be in an authoritative figure. You understand what I'm saying? In some scenarios and cases, though, when it comes to Aries, they're not really the boss. You know what I'm saying? They have the demeanor and the movements and the the entrepreneurial spirit of boss but boss comes with experience wisdom and leading others so that they can be team players it's not always about being the one now this is a a, a lot of people get duped with this stuff you know astrology helps you understand this but if you look like if you were to look at the players, the bosses, the CEOs of the world, Fortune 500 companies and stuff like that, you're going to find a lot of Aries in those positions. You know what I'm saying? Because they're great at telling people what to do. They actually are great at being examples of what to do as well. But it's not the totality of a boss. So you got to make them feel like you're a boss and they're not. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Now, this shit sounds sinister. I know. You probably, if you're watching all of these videos, you're probably like, some of this shit is like real psycho that you're talking about. And I don't know. You know what I mean? But I'm telling you, what isn't psycho in this world? What isn't psychological in this world? Right? We don't learn unless we get squares, oppositions in these different aspects that challenge us. So, are you trying to say that Aries don't like challenges? It's in their field. That's what they live for that shit, yo. So all you're doing is just giving this Aries a challenge to say, hey, this figure left like they on some bullshit. Only bosses get to step off like that and be like, okay, you done with it? I'm done with it too. I'm done with you too, you know? Because they've been catered to as the baby the entire time. And not only that, they embody that energy regardless of who they're bossing around. Right? It's kind of like when you have a child and you see like your child, your child, whatever your child says is just like you fall at their feet. Right. But you know, that's your child. You know that you got it way more together than your child does. You know what I'm saying? So this is how I'm telling you to look at this whole getting your Aries thing, getting your Aries person back. You got to look at it like that. yo. So what you do while you're in the meantime, be a player. Be a player. Now, I don't know what was going on when y'all was together. Don't be scared of your Aries. Because you think, oh, you know, you, you, you think of all the whole monogamous stuff and all that. Listen. This is the sign of competition. This is the competitor of the Zodiac. You're not, you not going to get them nobody else to compete against? Come on, don't play yourself. And I know... Some of y'all who subscribed to me for a while now, you're going to be like, well, what you said, what about this, what you said in the Aries video when you like, yo, they don't usually compete, you know, what I'm saying, what I, what I said in that video is they don't come across as they're competing because they already feel like they've won. They already feel like being themselves and being themselves even more is what's going to win. They're still winning. They still have the mentality to win. All right. So they're just perfecting their craft as they're bettering themselves, whatever that means to them, probably whatever that means to you too, some catering to you in some type of way. But they're going to continue to do that 
and to inadvertently compete with what and whoever else that you're dealing with or whatever else you got going on outside of them. So be a player. You know what I'm saying? Be a player so that they can know that they're winning. They can feel that competitive spirit. You understand what I'm talking about? Like I'm saying, don't be scared of this. You know what I'm saying? Don't be scared of this. So, um, what else I got to say? How to get how to get the Aries back? Um, make them feel incomplete. All right. This is some this is some Piscean logic, if you will. And what I mean by what I mean when I say this is Aries are on a journey more than all of the rest of the signs because they're first. So you got a whole constellation of uh, expressions and sectors of life that you have to go through and they hit the floor running, right? Baby of the Zodiac, excuse me, baby of the Zodiac. So they're not going to be fully seasoned until they go through all of these things. So let's say y'all were together and they didn't even notice that you were a roadblock in them adventuring off and experiencing all of these things that they need to experience to become a full authoritative figure, right? Now that you're separated, they're going to understand that you were. They're going to understand just how complicated relationships can become because you now have to deal on the accord of someone else when in all actuality, your natural tendency is to be a loner, is to be the self, is to be the one, which Aries is. So now they ain't got, they don't got that leverage no more. They don't got that, that person that is in the way of that anymore. Now, you got to be good enough, though, to let them know that you being missing from this whole ordeal is the piece of the puzzle that's missing in their life. Because they're always, Aries are always in a search for something. They want to become, they want to come into that 12th house realm just so they can, it's like the nature taking its course, just so they can come back out again in, in springtime and do it all over again. You understand what I'm saying? So you always stay one step ahead of your Aries and doing what it is that they're intrigued by, that they would feel like they want to go after something that they're interested in, you go out one up on the Aries. You're going to have them coming towards you. You know what I'm saying? You might think this is risky. You might say, oh, this is not enough to get them back. They're going to be, someone else is going to be entertaining them. They're going to be entertaining someone else, whatever the case may be. And this is what I'm saying. You got to be good. You got to be good. You got to, you got to remember the things that you meant to them. And when that is subtracted out of their life, they're going to feel it. They're going to feel that shit and be like, nah, I got to go get back with that. I got to feel some of it or whatever the case may be. Don't think that an Aries won't come back and get you. I'm telling you this out of experience, yo. Don't feel or don't be fearful that because y'all are broken up and you're making them chase you, that they won't chase you. They'll chase you, yo. They'll chase you. Now you'll hear, I'm not going to say this about all signs, but the Aries will chase you, yo. Now, be ready for sex and be good at it because when y'all do meet up again, okay? And this might be one of those things <laughs> that I'm talking about that when you take it away from them, they're going to remember that. They're going to feel it. And of course, everybody can get sex anywhere, right? But this is what I'm saying. You got to be good. <laughs> be good at what you do. So that they'll really understand that this is the missing piece of my life. This is the piece of puzzle that's missing from my life. What the fuck was I doing? I was being a child. That's what I was doing. I was being a child. You got to make them question their own adulthood. You got to make them really feel like a baby. It's just like, no, I got I to gotta, I gotta, I gotta grow up. And part of growing up is going to get that motherfucker. God damn it. So when they do arrive on the scene, be ready. And do what it is that you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Sex with an Aries is like a... It's kind of it's kind of healing. I, I kid you not. It's kind of healing because it to me, it always feels like it's brand new. And I guess that's me being analytical, looking at astrology as well. Because spring is the springtime when things start to grow. So it's always sex with an Aries. It's always just like... You feel like you just came out of a cocoon of some sort. I know y'all big headed right now. You Aries listening and shit right now, but I'm serious. You know what I'm saying? It makes the person that's having sex with them feel like they about to 
go out on a new horizon and do some next level shit, you know? And I know from experience that Aries, after they have sex with you, if you're good, they're going to remember that. And they're going to tell you, like, hey, you're good at sex. I'm going to see you. And we all fucking, I'm just letting you know right now, you know? So this is part of getting them back. If you ain't got, if the sex wasn't good, you can stop this video right now. You still here? All right. So we got that, we got that established, right? Now, um, let them shower you, but don't take advantage. When I say let them shower you, y'all pretty much know. You've been with the Aries, you know they're going to buy you shit, yo. Aries is going to buy you shit. They're going to buy you a whole lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, but when you split up and you come back together and, you you know, you're going to get your Aries back. You, you on the verge of getting your Aries back. They might do this again, you know. And this is just a way that they communicate. This is not something that is, um, I don't want to call it like a mental disability or whatever the case may be. It's just... It's just part of their behavior. You know what I'm saying? It just is what they do, yo. But they are also smart enough to know that when they're doing it to a fault to themselves, and they'll pick up when a person is taking advantage of that, you know? And you might say, well, because my, my usual motto is take advantage. You're supposed to take advantage of every opportunity, not every opportunity, but opportunity to come your way where you can benefit. Take advantage if, it, if it's aligned, right? supposed to take advantage but don't take advantage of Aries when they're doing this because it could become a mental condition let's say it is something that interferes with them actually communicating on a more powerful or more a, a level that has more substance this could get in the way it becomes materialistic it becomes it's just really something that gets in the way Show them something different. Show them that, hey, nah, you don't got to do that. Pump your brakes. You know, I, I I got that. Or, you know, make them feel like they've already earned their way. So, you know, like in business a lot, you invest in yourself, right? You pay your way. Some people actually like pay all on a radio station or whatever the case may be. That's how you get your spins on your records. That's how you eventually get your royalties. And that's how fans get to hear you on a continuous basis. Or just radio listeners. They're not even fans yet, right? But they get to hear you enough to the point where the song registers in their brain. And they're just like, oh, I like this song. And if they heard that song in comparison to all of the songs that's in the universe, they'd probably look at that song like, ah, they wouldn't even be in their playlist. You know what I'm saying? This is how you got to look at it with Aries. They, they, they've done enough stuff to shower you with gifts and stuff. They paid their way. All right, they paid their way. They're in now. This is just chill. Now, I'm not saying to shut them down all of the time because, again, this is a way that they communicate. You know what I'm saying? They really might want to do something nice for you, and it's just so simpler for them to buy the gift <laughs> or buy something for you. You know what I'm saying? As creative as they are, they rather just buy it because it's quicker. Right? It's just instant gratification. It's done. It's out of the way. They can move on to the next thing and put their energy into something else. You know what I mean? Um, but you don't want to insult their intelligence. Be like, no, don't ever buy me anything again. You know what I'm saying? Because, again, it's just a way that they communicate. Just make sure it's not interfering or replacing with something that could potentially make them have more substance. Um, a more substance. Uh, an investment that has more substance in the relationship. I am out.